It began with a vision. It began with faith, hope, and courage. In 2004, James Gilliard made a bold decision to begin a new church. Believing that God had called him to take this step, he packed up his things and left Philadelphia for Rocky Mount, North Carolina. I still remember like it was yesterday, my first weekend in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. I borrowed another church's van because I didn't have any transportation of my own. The church that we were occupying at that time across the street had a house that I could live in, a parsonage. And so I gathered some personal things together in a green hefty trash bag. And so I pulled up in a minivan and I had gone to a home improvement store in Philadelphia because I didn't know where any of the home improvement stores were in Rocky Mount. And I had cans of paint and rollers and all these kinds of things to renovate the property. I probably got here about two o'clock in the morning. And I was so excited for my first night in Rocky Mount, North Carolina to start this church. It was December of 2004. And I opened up the door to the van and all of the cans of paint just fell on the ground and they burst and all this paint wound up all over me. And I got to thinking, man, I don't know if I heard God right in being here. I went upstairs to the second floor of the parsonage only to discover there was no heat there. It was, as I said, December of 2004. So I went upstairs to the second floor. I had a, just a, a bag and a comforter that I could sleep in and a little portable heater. And I took my glasses off and I laid them next to me, went to sleep. When I woke up the next morning, I had rolled over on the top of my glasses and broke the arm off my glasses. And so that was like my first eight hours in Rocky Mount. And I was kind of wondering, man, have I heard God right? Well, it's 10 years later and I'm convinced that we all heard God right. I mean, we've gone from 14 members to some nearly 3,000 people in a city that really only has 58,000 people in it. The growth has been kind of interesting because in the early days, we were just a small little community church. As a matter of fact, we would go door to door, ring doorbells, and I would just introduce myself and say, hey, I'm James Galliard and I'm starting a church called Word Tabernacle. Why don't you come hang out with us? Well, but the interesting thing about our growth is that now this small little community church has really become a regional church. And so we are blessed to see people from 10 North Carolina counties, uh, blessed to see people from 74 different zip codes. Um, and it's amazing, we have people that travel 50, 60, even 70 miles one way to be an active part of our congregation and our ministry. That's something only God can do. I never thought, when I came here 10 years ago, I was convinced I was coming here to pastor a small little country church. I really did. And I'm amazed. The sanctuary back then 
was so big it seemed like I mean I remember getting there and and we had preview services in January 2005 and it was myself and sister Audrey and my son Kyle and maybe two or three other people we were getting ready for the first Sunday service and we didn't know where to go to watch night service so we had like a little watch night service now if you've ever been to a watch night service at Word Tabernacle you know it is mayhem you know it's people everywhere in our old building it was packed at 8 30 in the evening and the service didn't start till 10 o'clock right and so i remember our first kind of quasi watch night service just a handful of us audrey sung a song and i shared a brief word i don't even know what the word was now and um, we got ready for service within a couple of days and we walked into this sanctuary of our old building we were like god who how are we gonna fill this place because it seemed so big it was like 500 seats it was like huge and then after about a year a year and a half we were like you know what i think we need to go to a second service and we did and we we're like man how in the world is this church gonna get filled twice and it did and then about a year and a half later it was a third service and then finally we went to a fourth service and then the lord has blessed us to be where we are now and to experience what we're going to experience um, and so we're excited to now be on our own campus at 821 Word Plaza. But the other thing, and perhaps more important than anything else, is that one of the things that we've really gained is that we've gained God himself. I mean, what's greater, right? I mean, we watch deliverance and healing. We watch people grow in their faith, grow in their relationships. Men who become um, better husbands and better fathers and better sons because of experiencing God for themselves. Women who are just better wives and better mothers because of their experience of God. People that never knew God and now have come into a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. My prayer is this year that you would thrive. That is what we're endeavoring to do as a congregation. We just wanna thrive. And so our objective and our hope is that while we celebrate everything that God has done these past 10 years, we can really position ourselves to even be healthier, stronger, better, thriving in the next 10 years. And so as we worship together, as we sing together, as we minister in the community together, as we love people together, I am looking forward to an extraordinary future with all of you and in our city and in our region. I wanna personally thank you for how you have embraced me as your pastor, how you've accepted my leadership, with all my faults and my flaws and my shortcomings, and there have been many along the way. I'm grateful for how we have grown together as a church, and I believe that something great is in store for us. And so this year, as we worship together, and we bring in guest preachers and musicians and psalmists from around the country, enjoy it. Enjoy what God has done, but have an element of expectation for what God is gonna do in the future. That's Thrive 2015. And this is the 10th year anniversary celebration of Word Tabernacle Church. Invite some people, celebrate with us, and let's watch how God changes a region and a nation.